Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how you can use an image for the background of the header in your Squarespace website. We're going to upload this image to Squarespace and use just a little bit of CSS to put it behind all of the navigation that's found in your Squarespace website. We also have the option to add a specific image just for mobile devices, and I'll show you how to use both of the codes listed in the description below. Let's hop on into my demo site and get started. So here we are in my demo site, and I've outlined the steps we're about to take and put them in the description beneath this video for you. The first thing we're gonna do is upload the image to our custom files. Then we're gonna paste this code right here inside our custom CSS and update this part where it says image URL to be replaced with the URL for the image that we added to your custom files. Then we're just gonna save all your hard work, and if I scroll down a bit here, we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing using a mobile-specific image as well. I outline this really quickly. A lot of people ask, what size do I make the image? There are all kinds of answers because desktops vary in size, laptop screens are various sizes. I recommend starting with something that's at least 3,500 pixels wide. It's gonna be very large, but you can compress the image, and I'll put a link to my favorite free image compressor in the description below as well. For mobile, 1080p is a great uh, width if you want to use that as well. Totally optional, but those are my recommendations at the time of recording this video because devices are always changing. All right, let's get started with this code. We're going to navigate to design and then scroll all the way down to custom CSS at the bottom here. At the very bottom of our CSS panel, you'll see a button that says manage custom files. This is where we can upload an image to our Squarespace site. It'll be hosted with the rest of the site, so I highly recommend putting it here. I'm going to click on this option, and I'm just going to drag and drop the image from my computer right there into this spot, and now it's being uploaded to my Squarespace website. Now if I scroll down, I'm going to highlight this code. Again, it's in the description below. I'm just going to paste it right here into my custom CSS, and we'll scroll up to see the header because this is going to be fun. Where it says image URL, I'm going to remove that. I'm going to click Manage Custom Files and click on the image that we uploaded. And there we go. My image is now being used for the background of the header on my Squarespace website. Now, if you know a little bit about CSS, you can change up background repeat size or position, but these are my three recommendations here, leaving it at no repeat, so you just get one version of the image, leaving it at background size cover, so it's going to cover the entire width of the header, and then centering that image, because that's how I designed this particular one. Play around with those if you're comfortable with it, otherwise leave them alone. Now the next thing I mentioned was doing a mobile specific one. If we click on the mobile preview here, we'll see what this image looks like. But if you have something different you want to use on your mobile website, we can update that with some CSS. We're going to repeat almost the exact same process, but use this code that specifies just smaller devices will get this version of the background image. So I'm going to go ahead and follow these steps again. I'm going to open up Manage Custom Files, and I'll drag and drop the mobile image that I have over here so it'll be uploaded to my site. You'll notice it's a different color than the desktop one, so we can see the difference here in my demo. Alrighty, let's copy this code right here, and I'm going to create a new line in the CSS and paste this code. Again, where it says image URL, I'm just going to remove all of that right here, click Manage Custom Files, and click on the mobile header, and it will place that URL inside my code. So let's scroll up here and take a look at the mobile version of our site, which now features this alternate color specific for smaller devices. So again, it's almost the exact same code, but we're just uploading the image and replacing image URL with the mobile specific one. Now, whatever you decide to go with, just make sure you select save when you're all done. And that's it for this tutorial, how to use your own image for the background of the header in your Squarespace website. I have the codes I just shared listed in the description below, along with the link to where you can compress the image for free using a website I'm not affiliated with in any way. It's just one I've used before that I really like. So that's it for now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something awesome. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. If you liked this tutorial, you'll love my Squarespace CSS cheat sheet. I took all of my pro tips and custom codes specifically for Squarespace and put them into one gigantic PDF. Available now at insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash CSS.